this video you will learn how to make a full barrel hinge like the kind seen on Roman armor. I have a selection of tools and materials you will need here. Most important is the sheet brass. This came from a kick plate from Home Depot, but you can also find it at Ace Hardware where it's a bit cheaper. You also need some 1 8 inch brass rod, wire clippers, a flat file, this one has a rough side, and a fine side. There's also teeth on the edge. Cold steel chisel. Ball peen hammer. And sheet metal shears. Well, these are not like tin snips. These have smooth jaws, so they leave a smooth edge. First step is to cut your sheet brass to length. I've already cut one piece here. Next, fold them in half with just about the middle. And fold them the rest of the way to form a U. Next, take a bit of your your brass rod. And hammer the hinge closed. If it's slightly off center like this, just hammer it on the edge. Next, put a piece on a hard work surface such as this anvil. Put a bit of the 1 8 inch brass rod inside. Get your cold steel chisel. And at this point we're going to be forming the barrel. When hammered at an angle, sort of down and back. This is what you'll get. Next, clamp one of the pieces in a vise and measure the width. And take the width and divide it by the number of teeth you want the hinge to have. Then mark it. Brass is very soft. So I can use this caliper to leave scratch marks in the brass. Now there are two ways to cut the teeth. One is to simply saw into the barrel. But we can save time by using a hacksaw to cut down close to the plate. Next, get a pair of pliers or a wrench, crush the tube, and start bending it back and forth until it snaps off. This will leave a very ragged slot in the tube. That's where the file comes in.
when you're getting close to being done, switch to the fine side. And finish it off. Next, assemble the hinge to see if there are any rough spots. Once it's ready, you can permanently assemble it by cutting a pin. File the ends of the pin smooth. Then use your ball pin to gently mushroom the ends of the pin over. This will keep it in place permanently. The idea is to hit the edge rather than the center of it. It will seem like you're glancing off, but brass is very soft and mushrooms over with very little force. So now it won't go through. Do the same for the other side. If you hit too hard, you'll bend the pin inside the barrel of the hinge, and then it won't move as smoothly. There's the assembled hinge. With the hinge assembled, you can cut it into a shape like this, or into a more intricate design like this.